Something that every developer needs to understand how to do is use GitHub. GitHub is essentially a giant library of open source programs that anyone can use, anyone can edit. So today I'm going to show you this project here by Adrian. It is essentially a website for your portfolio. And so the idea being you could download these files and change these jobs to whatever jobs that you've had. And then now you have this fancy website. Okay. But the question is, how can you do that? Here are all the files, but how would you actually get these files onto your computer and, and run them? To do that, you're going to need two things. First thing is Git. Git essentially allows you to use anything on GitHub. So this is for Windows, Linux, Apple, whatever. This is the first step. Every, you're going to need this for everything on GitHub. The second one, which is more specific to this project, is Node. A lot of projects on GitHub use NPM, um, which is the Node Package Manager. Uh, and you're going to need this program in order to install the things for this to work. OK, so I would recommend everyone install Git and everyone install a Node. And then with these two things, you can pretty much use anything on GitHub. OK, so now you have those two programs installed. The question is, how do you do it? How do you use these two programs in order to have this website? Though, so the way you're going to do that is through the, um, the command prompt. OK, so here's my command prompt. And in the command prompt, you can do whatever you need to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is mkdir test. And so this is essentially making a new folder called test. I can show it to you if you want. So here's my admin folder. Here's test. So now we're in this folder here. All right. Next step is I'm going to clone or uh, git clone. So git clone. And then I'm going to put this address. OK, so git is the program. Clone is the action. So git clone. And then this is the address. OK, so we're going to make a copy of this. All right. And I can show you that. Now we have this folder here, which is the same folder as we see in GitHub. OK, to prove it to you, we have vite.config.js. They go in here, go vite.config.js. Yeah, same thing. OK, so next step is now we have all these files. You actually have to like install them, activate them. And you're going to do that through Node, which is what we, did, we downloaded earlier. OK, so back to the terminal. To do that, I'm going to first go to this folder. Let's copy it all. Because right now we're in test. We need to go to this folder that we just created. OK, and then from there, npm install. Now, I know this is going to fail, but I want to show you this process. So npm install, and it failed. OK, usually you can type npm install, and everything works. Sometimes you're going to run into sort of errors like this. And these are um, kind of dependency errors, right? So maybe one is updated, and the other is not updated. OK, so the reason why I'm showing you this is that sometimes you can get around that by npm install, and then do a tag called force. force. And this is just going to force the installation. And as you can see, it is successful. There we go, successful. OK, so now we have, here you go. Now we have um, all the files. We have node modules, which is uh, all the kind of the dependencies for this to work. So now we have everything. We're ready to go. The next, or the final step would be npm run dev. When I do that, it's going to open the server, which is going to allow me to run this website. And here it is right here. OK, so this is what we just installed. We just made a fresh copy of this onto our computer. This is running locally, as you can see, localhost. And so now if I wanted to, I can change anything in here to make it my own. So thank you for watching that video. I hope, I hope it was helpful. Um, that process can be repeated with most things on GitHub. Um, and now the world is your oyster. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.